Hey guys, Miha here with Creative Business Build. And in today's video, I wanted to answer a question I got from Firu. And he's basically asking, uh, the only thing I'm concerned is how to build your own client base and how to convince and gain trust with your clients. Um, now, this is basically a topic about social proof. Because when you contact potential clients, get in touch with them for the first time, they have to know that they can trust you before they give you a project to work on and uh, basically pay you for the project. So, building social proof is uh, quite easy if you know how to do it and uh, I'll explain that in this video. <clears throat> okay, so... From my experience, the best way by far to get some online credibility and to build social proof is to have a really strong portfolio and uh, even more importantly, a strong LinkedIn profile. Now, everybody, at least from the business world today, is on LinkedIn. And uh, it usually happens that when you get in touch with a potential client, they will basically do a background check on you before giving you a project to work on and uh, they will usually do that from, through LinkedIn. So you need to have a LinkedIn profile and you need to have a very credible and good LinkedIn profile. But uh, so you basically need a lot of connections there and a lot of connections to relevant people. Now, this is something that's really easy to do, but it usually takes some time. Um, when I was starting out with my LinkedIn profile, basically I needed about two to three months to get to the all-star level. Now, how did I do that? I actually created a LinkedIn profile and uh, started adding connections. Maybe search for the relevant industries, for example, search for startups or maybe technology companies or, or industries like that. And uh, then go to the people tab and just start uh, adding people as connections. Now, the important thing is to add CEOs and uh, really key decision makers in those companies as your connections. Because uh, once, once, you, once they accept your connection, a lot of people that are actually also connected to them will want to be connected with you. So that's a bit a little of a LinkedIn hack that I found and it works really well. Also, don't uh, get discouraged if you maybe send out, I don't know, 100 connection requests and only 10 of them uh, actually add you as a connection. Uh, this, is, this doesn't matter because you can always connect with 100 more and uh, you can really build an all-star LinkedIn profile in a very short amount of time and it works wonders when, um, when clients do a background search on you and they see that uh, you're really credible, you have a good profile and you're actually connected to a lot of people that maybe they know or a lot of people that they've heard about on LinkedIn. Um, also, regarding the endorsements and your past uh, work, like your past work experience on LinkedIn, um, it's important but not so much. It's good if you list maybe a couple of work companies you've worked uh, on or maybe just a couple of projects that you've worked on in your profile. But uh, the most important thing is to have relevant connections because people when they look at your LinkedIn profile, all they want to see is actually if you're credible. And uh, the first thing they will look at is who you're connected to and how many connections you've got. So. Go out there and start working on your LinkedIn profile, and uh, if you should have a, and you should have a really good profile in um, I don't know maybe a month or two, it should be enough to basically build your social proof. Now, and also a very good idea is to include a link to your LinkedIn profile in your email signature. That's very important because uh, when you send an email, a cold email to somebody, and they're communicating with you for the from the for, for the first time. Uh, they will almost certainly click on the LinkedIn profile because their question in their mind is now who is this person? Um, how do we know that this person is really uh, credible? And they'll click on your LinkedIn profile and see that you have a really good uh, connection base and you're connected with all these important people and uh, that's basically it. Now the second thing is your portfolio because the two questions that people get in mind when they meet somebody for the first time in the creative world is uh, who is this person and who they've worked for or basically what can they do. Now, your portfolio also plays a really important part here. Um, 
That's why I recommend putting your portfolio on uh, Behance because Behance is hosted by Adobe and they, you also get a lot of social proof just by that. Um, or you can build your own site, your own portfolio website. Um, but if you do that, it has to look really professional, really crisp. So if you don't have that option, I would really recommend going the Behance way. Um, because a lot, of free, a lot of professionals out there use Behance as their main portfolio site and uh, it's, it really works, people know it and you also get a lot of extra social proof just because your portfolio is hosted there. So um, that's, these are the basic two tips for building your social proof. Now another thing to keep in mind is once you start the initial interaction and you get in touch with the person and they're interested in working with you and you may, you're maybe starting to discuss the project, uh, what I do is I always push for a Skype meeting for a Skype or Google Hangouts meeting. Um, you don't have to do that for every project, but in the initial interaction, when the client is in the getting to know you stage, it's really good to have a short Skype meeting regarding the project or just uh, get to know each other Skype meeting so you can discuss a bit about yourself and about your work experience or about your freelance company or something like that. Um, because it builds it, uh, because when they see you on camera, and uh, they talk to you um, directly, they actually get a feeling that you're a real person and that they can trust you. So I really can't stress enough the importance of a Skype meeting or a Google Hangouts meeting or maybe WhatsApp or whatever, but it has to be a video communicating platform so that they can actually see that you're a real person and that you know how to communicate. So you basically need three things to build social proof with potential clients when getting in touch with them. That's a really good LinkedIn profile, a portfolio, a nice portfolio hosted on Behance or on your own custom designed website. And you need to get them to see you on camera or at least talk with them on the phone so that they get the feeling that you're actually a real person and that they can trust you. Um, so these are my tips for building social proof. Uh, I hope you found the video helpful. If you like the content, uh, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.